Well, that's all they want to us now. Let them make Captain Bly king of China if they want to. <laughs> We can forget him, thank God, and I move we start forgetting him right now. Bly guilty or Bly not guilty, it makes no difference to our lovely little island. And if it did, we could write out papers telling our side of the story, seal them in bottles and set them floating on the sea. Hey, that's a thought. One of them might even bob along and reach England ahead of Bly. That'd put a spike in his coffin. We can make certain that his coffin is spiked. What do you mean, sir? by returning to England ourselves. Oh, what the holy hell for? You're not serious, Mr. Chris. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a joke we'll be after having that told. Yeah, well, it's a joke that spoiled hold me it, dinner. Hold it, hold it. Mr. Christian is meaning what he says, I'm afraid. Yes, I am ill. And I've got a better idea, sir. Why don't we hang each other from the yard arms in the morning? It'll save us a trip. Yeah. Listen to me for one moment, gentlemen, please. I put it to you that we shall never find contentment on this island. Sir, it sounds like you've gone out of your mind. There's no chance for people like us to go back to England, give Bly a bad name, and walk free men ourselves. And anyone who thinks otherwise hasn't got the sense that God gave geese. You're right. We may all very well be hanged. But decency is worth fighting. We can't live without it. And hiding here, shivering like convicts, when we've a just case to present to the courts is just another way of dying. And a far less bearable one. I didn't know until this moment what the rightful cause to pursue was. I know it now. Will you trust me? Look, supposing Bly's been picked up already. Supposing he's been tried and acquitted by the time we get there. Let it be so. Our court-martial will be Bly's court-martial over it. Our jeopardy will be Bly's jeopardy as well. And our acquittal will be Bly's defeat. It'll mean no more Captain William Bly or any like him in His Majesty's service. We need only persuade the British people of something they already know, that inhumanity is its poorest servant. Gentlemen, I beg you, help me to carry that word back to England. 